Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you that are new here, absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Today we have an unboxing, I know, another one. Um, I'll explain why. Before though, I just thought I would share this and I'm going to put a link in the description box below because I think this will really help um, those in the UK but it's worth elsewhere also looking to see if you've got equivalents in your country. So I have an Apple Watch. I have an Apple Watch Series 6 and I love it. I mean I've got, I love watches and I now don't wear my nice watches because I just like not being able to get my emails or my messages on my wrist is now like, you know, doing with my phone in my bag is obviously far too far away and I think you just get used to that whole convenience. So I love my Apple Watch. I also though want my Apple Watch to look nice. I've shared with you previously a Swarovski little bit of bling you can add and a WSC watch that I got previously for my birthday. I ventured into the world of Hermes Apple Watch straps. However, I have not paid Hermes prices. I was going to, I was looking, the one I really wanted got discontinued. Should have bought it when I just saw it, I know. But it was four, I think it was £489, which is why I didn't buy it. But then I was going to, and by the time I convinced myself I, I needed to, because I just kept looking at it for months, it had gone. Can't find it anywhere, unless I find it on eBay for like £1,000. So. CEX, um, which is known in the UK for basically buying and then selling on things like PlayStations, cameras, DVDs, those sorts, you know what I mean, the electric sort of company. And I guess because of the link with Apple Watches, and they do that for Apple Watches as well, they also sell and buy Hermes Apple Watch straps, alongside other Apple Watch straps. Right, so I got this beauty, you can see it there hopefully, you can see some of the Hermes branding just there. This is a normal buckle. Now I did think I had bought a double strap and the paperwork that came with it said it was a double strap. But I actually really, really like this. This is in the Berenia leather and oh my god it is so soft. So it's used, this is pre-loved, it's used. But apart from, I think, one minor, minor surface scratch, like not even a proper scratch, and a tiniest bit of patina to the very tip of the buckle, it looks like new. The underneath is clean, it looks like new. Um, and basically, instead of being like nearly 400 pounds, it was 115. So I'll put a link in the description box below. That's my little tip for anyone that wants to. It's so soft. I haven't taken it off since the second I unboxed it. So, talking of unbo Hermes unboxing, we have this beauty. You can tell it's shoes. Receipt there, which I've checked, and this is what I asked for. So yes, lockdown's not going to stop me shopping. Um, the beauty of having great sales associates on WhatsApp. So, Right, box is the right way up. Let's undo the ribbon. This came this morning and I've waited this long to unwrap. I just really hope I like them. Little dust bag each. Oh, I can smell them. This will be my third pair of Hermes sandals and all of mine are completely different. Ooh. So, just, yep, the correct size. These are the Aloha sandals. They come in two colours. There's this, which is just the plain black, and there's another colour, I can't remember the name of it now, Boas or something? But it's like a pinky red. Beautiful, but I just thought I'll get the most wear out of black. Now these are an all rubber sandal, so they are sort of about half the price of the Iran sandals, but they're not leather, you know, they are 100% rubber, which was kind of why I wanted them. I didn't want a sandal that I was going to worry about ruining. 
particularly given lockdown. And yes, you know, I have bought these in January. It's not warm. It's quite honestly bloody freezing today. It's not warm. I will not be wearing these anytime soon. But I wanted them. And then, you know when you have your eye on something on the website and then you gradually see all the sizes disappear and then I saw my size disappear, which is a 38. So I got super common feet. <laughs> 38 is gone. And I'm like, oh. Contacted one SA and he's just like, oh, they're a hot ticket item at the moment. And I'm like, no, why is everything I like a hot ticket item? Um, along with the, yeah, anyway. There's more on the wish list. Um, so then I contacted um, SA at Bond Street and they had a few pairs and they have just arrived. So I was happy to hold off buying these until nearer the time, but I knew if I did that, they'd be gone. So, it won't take me long to show you the features. There we go. This nice little cutout section here. A little bit of Hermes branding there. You can see super flat sole. Got a bit of grip. And made in Italy, size 38. Hopefully they'll fit. My Arans are 38 and they'll fit perfectly. And my other sandals, which I can't remember the name of, that have got like a, a strap that goes over. They're all in like goat suede. They're beautiful. Just really pretty. Multicoloured. They're a 38. So I feel fairly confident that these should fit. So what I will do, and I won't show you the other one because, you know, it's exactly the same. I will do a little try on for you and I'll insert that footage here. So that's what they look like on. Uh, let me know any, any comments or feedback below, any questions. Um, oh, price, in case anyone's interested, these were £240. So, still quite a lot for a rubber sandal, but I want, like I say, I wanted something that was a bit more carefree, you know, if I ever go anywhere and want to wear these poolside, because sometimes I find flip-flops a bit annoying between the toes, then I can. I've heard from some of the Facebook groups I'm on where people have got this item that they're super comfy. So, here's hoping. So yeah, from me and my Aloha sandals, it's goodbye, take care, stay safe everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye.